Welcome YouTubers, in this special episode with the recent news that Hamilton has tested positive, who is the best person to take his seat? We use artificial intelligence to find out. My name is Eric, this is R Square Racing. So if you have just been tuning in, you have heard by now that Lewis Hamilton has tested positive for COVID. Now, one of the big questions is who gets to drive that famous Mercedes AMG F1 W11 chassis that is a proven race winner and who gets to go alongside Bottas to take the step. So today we're actually going to use Einstein Analytics or Tableau CRM leveraging the power of artificial intelligence to make a predictive guess at who would be best suited for that. Now, a quick word for those that are watching this on the phone, this won't be super mobile friendly, but I will talk this way through explaining all of the pros and cons and giving you an opportunity to see. So let's jump right in it. If we're looking at it, we're going to look at two pole position predictions. And what we are in right now is the Einstein Analytics Studio where all of the predictions happen. So here we're taking a look at it. And I basically put a simulation in for this weekend with Bottas. And plugging everything in, we looked at a function of what could happen when we look at a constructor for Mercedes. Bought us as a driver in the 2020 calendar year with weather dry, with the air temperature and the Pirelli track settings for asphalt grip, asphalt uh, abrasion, tire stress, lateral and downforce. We plugged it all in and we took a look and Einstein puts a score of 2.654 Bottas. Now that doesn't mean he's going to qualify in second or third place. Everyone gets a different score very likely that this is predicting because I don't think that anyone else would. If we look at, for example, let's look at Carlos Sainz. If we look at Carlos Sainz under a McLaren, he scores at a 10.66, way farther back than Bottas has. But if we put, for example, the very same signs in a Mercedes, he goes to a 3.62 to show the influence that a car of this magnitude that the W11 has the capacity of actually delivering. So with all of that said, we want to look at three key drivers that are in line for taking Lewis's seat. And that uh, is Esteban Gutierrez, a Mercedes reserve driver, Stefan Van Dorn, which is the second Mercedes reserve driver, and a name that's actually being thrown in the mix and a very popular name this year, Nico Hulkenberg. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to bring back Bottas just so we take a look. And we're going to look at two key things here. We're actually going to look at a pole pres position prediction and we're going to look at a race winner prediction and we'll take it one step at a time. So. The only thing that I'm leaving blank that we use in our models today for artificial intelligence is the average gap to leader because the three drivers that we're going to be using for this prediction have not raced consistently in Formula One this season. Hulkenberg is the only one that had a couple of races. I'm going to leave that blank and let artificial intelligence fill in the blank for that unknown. But beyond that, with Bata scored, at 2.65 if we jump to the very first likely option, which is um, Esteban Gutierrez, who has been a reserve driver. You see that the number drops quite a bit. This has to do a little bit with his absence from Formula One and his past performances, but he scores a 4.33 on the qualifying scale. And if we take the next step to look for Van Dorn, we see a 5.75. So actually, Einstein Analytics predicts in our model that with all of these factors considered, Gutierrez is a better choice. But the big question here is, would Hulkenberg actually be a better suited person? And once we select that, we see 2.61. So not only Hulkenberg 
is a better choice than the two Mercedes reserve drivers. According to artificial intelligence models, he is actually better than Bottas himself. And he would put Bottas in a position where he would have to show once and for all that he deserves that Mercedes seat. Very exciting information. Let's take a look into how that plays out with regards to races. Once again, we have certain models and criteria that we're taking into consideration. We are looking at the qualified position that we have predicted, presuming that they're between first place and third place in the starting grid, which most of these scenarios actually played out that way. We have Mercedes as the constructor. We're looking at Bottas. Bottas scores a 2.2. 2-2 for finishing the race. Again, if we put a comparison to Verstappen, just for the comparison's sake, if we look at Verstappen, we're looking at a 5.0. So Verstappen is not actually predicted to do that well in comparison to a Mercedes in the same situation. So bringing it back to Bottas in this case, We're back to that 2.22, which shows that difference in points is actually an indication of the superior domination that the AI model predicts Mercedes to have under this track conditions. So with Mercedes and Bottas, this is what it's predicting. Let's go ahead and take a look at everyone. Again, assuming that all drivers can take a starting position between pole position and third place. We look at it and let's go ahead and do it in the same order. If I go for Gutierrez and I select Gutierrez, Gutierrez goes to a 4.26. No surprise there. He goes quite a bit below the benchmark that is set by Bottas. Now, if we switch to our second driver, which is Van Dorn, we bring it to 3.08. So even though Van Dorn qualifies or scores in the qualification right around the same level as Gutierrez. He is actually predicted to do better in the race in the Mercedes AMG F1 W11 chassis. Uh, so between the two reserve drivers, Van Dorn is the better choice. But if we put Hulkenberg in that seat, let's go ahead and take a look. 4.66. So what we are concluding with our AI predictions is that while Hulkenberg may qualify better than anybody else available in the pool for the Mercedes AMG team, that actually one of the better candidates for the job would be Stoffel Van Dorn. So Stoffel, if you're watching this, I do hope you get a good opportunity. Mercedes, if you're watching this, feel free to nitpick my choices as much as you want like. And for all of those that enjoy some analytics and using data as all of these teams are to make their decisions, We'll see how this plays out, but this is our square of racing. This is our prediction for who takes Hamilton's seat. I hope you enjoyed this special episode, and until the next one, so long.